Missouri mm-hmm. uh, had a little bit of an off week. Uh, is <laughs> is is Missouri mid, or is this just an example of them just coming out of the gate struggling a little bit? No, I look. I, it would be one thing if it was like Kentucky or hell. I'll even give them Florida. They they're, they mid. They look <laughs> they look they look warm. That was the correct, like, that was the correct like, answer. Thank they're you, like Chris. if you go to Taco Bell the night after a bar and you forget to eat it, and then the next day you put it in the microwave. Oh, oh no, that's it's like idea. that. That team is that team is ro- coasting off of the hype, and they were a fantastic. They were a great team last year. They were a great story. I thought they were a much better team. They are not nearly as good as they were last year. Now, don't get me wrong. Luther Burden is that dude, and I think Cook is a is a good college quarterback. But if you let Vanderbilt take you to double overtime at home, and just because I, just because they they whipped on a on a field goal, that I, you you let that go to multiple overtimes after the second one and two point conversion plays, you're lucky to walk out of that with a win. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, Bam, they have to come to Tuscaloosa in a couple of weeks, and. I mean, and, and I don't, I don't even know what the rest of their schedule is to be honest. But like, I would it's be worried. easy. It's super it's so easy. Toilet super paper. Easy. easy. They Man. very well could back their way into the playoff if they only have losses. If they, could, losses, if they do, play. if they do, they will get boat raced. <laughs> if they play anywhere near they did the way they did against Vandy, like I, like I look forward. Like I think that could be a game where, like hypothetically, like. If say for example, like you know, Georgia beats uh, Alabama this week, and you have these games where it's like, then they play Vandy, then they play you know uh, Tennessee, and then they get then they get Missouri. Man, he might Milrow might throw for four hundred against Missouri. I mean, he might he might bomb it. Ryan I, Williams, I would I have as, as a Tennessee fan, I would love to see Missouri in the first round of the playoffs. Oh, and same. I saw, I saw somebody put that on Twitter. A couple weeks ago, yes, Twitter, not X West. We'll talk about that again in a second. <laughs> yes, um, I'll never call it. X. The uh, I saw somebody put that graphic up, and in the first round it was a home game for Tennessee against Missouri, and I was just salivating. I was like, mm. "Oh, please, you for would, the love of God, Tennessee fans would make drinking tea cry." Like, oh, actually, I would, oh, yeah. I would enjoy that so much. There's I, enough I, wagon circling. I mean, look, I'll say this right now: I think the the five seed of the playoffs. Honestly, has a better road or path to a national championship than getting a first round bye, because um, yeah. they're going in. They're playing the 12 seed. They're get they get their legs fresh. I think that I think a team who gets a first round bye this this year is going to get upset. Yeah. Uh, so I would rather go into that game fresh, get your legs warm against that that uh, group of four, group of five team the week before. Because I saw something Bama was playing. Uh, I think Fresno State. If I'm not mistaken, it was so it was no, it wasn't Fresno State. It was somebody. And I'm like, you get Bama a Tuscaloosa home game against that team at five. Oh, I'll take that all day. I would rather that than the bye week. The bye weeks make me nervous. I don't like it. There's bad juju there. You get comfortable. More time you get for people split. to get in trouble. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm-mm. Especially, Mm-mm. especially if they have to drive to class, right, Wes? Hey, good one, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can make the sense. as a Tennessee fan, I can make those jokes because we never get in trouble for anything. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 